You know, this isn't just some bad year that you can just brush to the side and say, oh, next year will be better. And, you know, like, I, I don't know if people have been around for 2018 and 2019, but ever since February 4th, 2018, this team has gone nowhere but downhill and downhill very fast. And people are still trying to defend the organization, the players, and everybody for what they've put out there. And I, <laughs> it's, it's amazing. It's, it's amazing. Cause trust me, I, I wish, I wish I could do that. I wish I could still do that. I did that in 2018. I did that in 2019. But this year is a boiling point. This, this year has, it, it's all driven up. It's all gone down to this season where it's not only just blowing up in our faces, but it's just, it is just showing us and it's just proving more of how much 2017 was just a an anomaly. How, like, I don't even know. I don't even recognize half the players that were here for 2017 right now that are still here. I don't recognize any of them. From Carson Wentz to the O-line with Lane Johnson getting beat by Olivier Vernon, by Jason Kelsey. Well, Jason Kelsey's probably the only exception considering he went out there after hyperextending his left elbow and still played with the cast on and everything. My props to that guy. But outside of that, nobody on this team, Alshon Jeffrey, Zach Ertz. Oh, 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 oh. oh man. I know Ertz, it's, 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 it's not, not okay to say that about Ertz because he's been hurt, but dude, Nobody right now is saying they want Jalen Hurts to be put in because he's going to win us the division. Everybody wants to see, uh, everyone who's saying they want to put Jalen Hurts in wants to see something happen to Carson Wentz. People want to see Carson Wentz get sit down, get, get hit. People want to see Carson Wentz get his ass sit down on the bench so he can understand that he's doing something wrong and that he's not helping the cause right now. Because you can say what you want about the O-line, about the injuries, about the wide receivers. The wide receivers aren't the problem. The wide receivers aren't the pl problem. The play calling is a problem. The quarterback play is a problem. The offensive line, yeah, it's a problem. But uh, what's at the center of all that? That's your head coach and your QB. Those are the two guys that have right now single-handedly ruined this season. Right now, we could, the Eagles could be 7-3, and 6-4. and four. A couple of games ahead of the competition in the division. But instead, we have barely survived against Dallas, who at the point where we played them, they were at their lowest point. We barely survived the Giants in one of the in the first game we played against them. We had a mount a comeback within 5 minutes to 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 win that game. Only 2 weeks, 3 weeks later to to get our asses handed to them by Daniel Jones running all over the place. It's like Systemically, top to bottom, this team needs an overhaul. And that means new pieces need to be implemented. That means old guys, old farts like Jason Peters need to go and let other people play. I, 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 PR52, shout out to him. Shout out to him. He was one of the first Eagle video creators I watched on YouTube when I started back in 2015. Uh, he made a video uh, the other day. Or not the other day, yesterday. And he said this perfectly. That he would rather see a rookie making the mistakes that Carson Wentz is making right now. Because Carson Wentz is playing like a motherfucking rookie. Okay? You can complain about everywhere else. But where, what, where, where are we right now in the NFL? Where are we right now? Where, who, who, who wins games? Your fucking offense. Your offense wins you football games. Your defense steps up when they need to, but your offense needs to put up points. And Doug Peterson doesn't know how to play call, doesn't know how to utilize his wide receivers or his running backs, only knows how to use his tight ends. And Carson Wentz simply cannot function in this system. And if they're not, if they're not going to change anything, if they're not going to do anything about that, then they both need to go. It's as simple as that. That's the bottom line. I don't blame people. I don't blame Eagle fans for calling for number 11 to get benched or for calling for Doug's head on a, on a... I don't blame people for wanting Doug to at least at bare minimum give up play calling. And if he doesn't, then get out of Philadelphia because you're not going to help us win anything. 
Not with the way things are going right now, but not with what you're doing right now. This isn't just one bad year. 2018 was a struggle. 2019 was a struggle. And in those two, in those two, both of those two years, we went nine and seven. We as fans looking into go looking prior to that season and that offseason going into those two seasons, we thought, yeah, these teams could be better. The, this team could be better than nine and seven, right? We thought after the Super Bowl, oh, we should go ten and six, eleven and five, win this division. Maybe not be seed one, seed two, but be up there as a division winner with competition against us, you know? And in 2019, the same thing. We should be in the top three. We should be right up there with the Saints and whoever else. No, we weren't because this team is regressing. Our quarterback is regressing and our coach is in over his head. Get that through your heads. Stop defending mediocrity and get the fuck out of here.